always mix your paint whenever possible try not to paint directly from your tube you'll find that if you mix your paint thoroughly you will always have a proper consistency when you apply it to your canvas or whatever surface that you're applying to after allowing your background color to have proper time to dry you can now apply texture and color you will leave the painter's tape on the canvas at this point protecting your original underpainting i've chosen to utilize the plastic wrapping from the canvas to create my texture try to use every element if you can the wrapping, the packaging, everything that might be thrown away has creative potential. Really, you can use anything. Your brushes, um, sponges, you know, as long as it's not going to contaminate your paint or your colors. Uh, but pretty much anything you can imagine can be utilized to create textures and patterns if you're going to apply this technique. With the exception of yourself, do not use your hands, your face, your hair, your skin. Do not come in direct contact with the paints and the mediums, especially oil paints. You will poison yourself, it will become toxic, and you will die. I mean, you're gonna die anyways, of course, but you don't wanna die like that. So, always utilize your safety gear, put your gloves on, and do not stick your paintbrushes in your mouth.